Dwy Park FC, a Men's Isle of Wight Saturday League Division 2 side. We're going to bring you all the highlights from all our League and Cup matches throughout the season. Our sponsors for this season are Ride Garage Limited, Excite Competitions, Warning, there will be bad language throughout this video, you have been warned. In today's game we've got Lee Game 3, it's High Park FC v Ventnor FC at Ventnor. And High Park's team line up today is Kiz in the sticks, Wendes at right back, Clarkie and Holt centre back, Jensen in at left back, Big D CDM, Adam Zach centre mids, Marky out on the right, Johnny out on the left, Old but Gold in the middle, and on the bench today we've got Geordie, Joe, and the Gaffer. Let's see what happened in today's game. Here we go then. Kick off in this game. Vent the kick off in the yellow and blue. Eye park in the black and white. Just a ball to nowhere. Here we are. Two minutes in. Our right back's twisted his knee. He has to go off. Said he twisted his ankle and his knee went underneath him. He does try and come back on second half as well. Said he could run it, but it didn't happen. Here we are now along the line. Jordy getting tangled up with the 11. 11 skipped past him. Ad Clark with a banging challenge there. Nothing wrong with that. Vent the players up in arms all around the referee. Early doors. Ad don't think it's a foul. I don't think it's a foul. We're onto a bit here then. Vent the picking up the ball on the wing. Ball inside. Ball through. Kids is coming out to get that. He's got to get there. He does get there. Well done there from our keeper. Geordie's come on to replace Wenders at right back. Young Geordie, 19. Venter here with a corner. Swings it in. Wins the header. Free header. Bobbling around in the box. Venter get a shot off. It's one of our players. Big handball appeal. Running over to the referee. Demonstrating with him. Nothing given. Still having a go at the referee here, Ventner. One, one player, then two players, all in his ear roll. Ball picked up by Markey. Slots John through. John's going to try and cross it back into Markey. Markey can't get there, though. There's a good chance there for Park. Just a final ball. Here we are playing now. It's Zaki with a ball out towards Markey. Markey's going to chase it down. Venter player kicks it out, Mark catches on the hill. Venter players are going mad at the referee. Hands up in the air in front of him. Referee's calling him over now for descent. He should go in the sim bin, really. It's not the third time now they've been at the ref. There's two or three Venter players around him. Ref gives nothing. And then play carries on. Picked up in the middle by the Venter player here. Ball out wide. It's a ball down the line. Venter 11's cut inside. Geordie's going to make a tackle. Catches him on the hill. Ref gives a penalty. Was a clear cut pen. Young Geordie there putting a leg in where a leg shouldn't go. I don't think there was a penalty spot marked out on this pitch. So I think the ref has to pace it out. Yeah, here he goes. Well done. Well done, referee. So the 11's going to step up for Ventnor then. We're in about the. 25th minute. He's doing his best to put him off. Kids goes the right way but can't get to it. It's 1 0 Ventnor. The ball switched out here from middle of the park to the right hand side. Jensen's got to stay with his man here. The lad cuts back inside. Nice ball across. No one picks up the runner. Slots at home. It's 2 0 to Ventnor. It's not good for Eye Park here. It's not a good start to the game. Bad couple of minute period here. Johnny there gets taken out for a pen. I think it was given offside. I think our skipper's just had a word with the referee there. Yeah, I think yeah, I think just out of shot. Yeah, we go. Sin Bindar player for the first time. What the High Park player has talked to the referee. And then Sank House has said and he sent our captain off. On the 40th minute mark. Absolute disgrace from the referee. Venter players hounded him all first half. Nothing given at all. First time an eye part player opens his mouth to the ref. It's a red card. It's dreadful. And now we're losing our composure. Giving away free kicks. Flying into tackles. 
because the refs just angered us. We got to try and stay composed, otherwise we're going to go in more down here. We'll give away a free kick here, about 30 yards out. The 11's going to tear up. Yeah, refs absolutely lost the plot. Ten's having a word. No, the eleven's going to take it. Kids building a little wall. Great strike there by the eleven. Great save onto the post by Kizza. We clear our lines. It's a ball here. Gents not getting tight to his man, letting him play out. It's a cross into the box. The eleven's across the club front of Clarkey. Puts it in near post. It's 3 0 on the stroke of half time. And we got an uphill battle with 10 men second half. And that is the half time whistle. We're going to go straight in at half time. All I said to the boys is go out and don't fold. Show your fight, show your battle, show who we are. Like we never give in. And this half's going to prove why. Nate's going to pick up the ball down long in the corner. Plays the ball into Gents' feet. Gents turns, plays Johnny. Johnny plays the ball down the line to Marky. Marky's chased on with a five. The five lets it run across his body. Marky gets in behind him. He's on the byline. It's a square ball. Muse there to tap it in from two yards. We got one back. 3 1 Ventnor. Hyde Park deserved the goal in this game. Kept plodding away. Here's a replay. Marky got on the other side of the defender pretty easily. Crosses it in. Nice ball straight to Mew. Mew ain't missing from there ever. And we've got a little foothold in the game, which I didn't think we'd have. Well, the, ball, the boys showed, showed guts. Showed work rate with 10 men all second half. We never give in. Here we go now. Zaki on the ball. Played line towards Johnny. Johnny's cut inside. Cut on his right. He's going to hit one. Good save there by the keeper. Gets hold of it. No one on the rebound. He's going to send it long down the other end. Miscommunication there, it bounces nice for Ventnor there, through on goal. Geordie with a great tackle there, after giving away a pen first half and only being 19 years old, he still stuck his foot in there, good lad. Mew on the ball here, crosses it into the box, Johnny chests it down. Bops up, hits him on the hand, that's an hand ball. It should be a penalty to Hyde Park, would have been a bit harsh though in my opinion. Zaki's going to fire one, good block there by Ventnor. Ventnor pick up the ball here, spread it wide, we claim for an offside, cut across. Nine, it's the bar from about 10 yards out. Should be doing better there. I park back up the other end now. It went end to end this game. Ad McKenna winning ahead of there. Won everything cool game Ad did. Little push there by the two. Nothing much in that. Free kick I park. And then the ref's going to come over and book the number two. And it wasn't even a booking. Never a booking. What did he do? Feel sorry for the bit in the first half. So he's just booking players for nothing for Ventnor now. This is what we deal with week in, week out on the Isle of Wight, don't we? And we have people saying, oh, should be happy you got a referee. Yeah, well, I won't. Zaki's going to line this free kick up, kick up for Eye Park. We need to grab a goal if we're going to get anything out of this game. There's about 10, 15 to go, something like that. So the ball's only about two yards away. He's going to back it up. And Zaki's going to whip a ball in. Here he stood over it. Well, he's played a short one. Marky with a touch out his feet. Fires it. Bottom corner. It's 3-2. And now we, we can really get back in this game. Right, so we've got about 10 minutes left. 83rd. A bit of injury time. It's a long throw now by John. Aiming towards Holtz. We're all over him at this point. Absolutely shit in a brick. Keeper, miles out there. Comes off their defender. Could have gone anywhere. Cleared their lines again. We're back on the attack here. Johnny trying to cut the ball across. Good block there. Comes back out. The two clears. Ab McKenna's going to pick it up. Play John again. John's going to whip another ball in. It's cleared straight to Dan Mew. He skins the defender. He goes over. That's definitely a penalty. Ref's only five yards away from it. No penalty given. Nothing given by this ref. And then to top it off, to double things up, he's going to sim bin old but gold for descent after not giving a blatant penalty. And there we go. We go down to nine men for the last five minutes of this game. Absolute shambles from the ref today. 
Here we are in the middle of the park then with nine men still battling away, still trying to get Sank out in this game. Squeaky, squeaky bum time. Zaki's through the river lob. Oh, he gets it all wrong. Zaki got it all wrong there. We're going to have one more chance in this game. The keeper's going to pick it up here. He's cleared it straight to Markey. Markey's going to slot Johnny in. Johnny threw on goal. Got with the target. Oh, he scuffed his shot wide. Unlucky. Unlucky from John there. He knows. That was our last chance of the game. Here comes the final whistle. And we huffed and puffed and couldn't get there. We're going to the, the final score of the game. There we go then. That's the final score from the game today. Venter win it 3-2. Old but gold and Markey with the goals for us. We huffed and puffed. We couldn't, just couldn't get that last last goal to nick a point. Obviously, we all know what the, about the ref from today. And there's a little exchange from the managers in the evening. It's nice for the old Venter gaffer to send me a, a message and uh, reiterate what I thought about the referee today. Here are the results from the other games in our division. Carriage Brook lost 4-3 to East Cow's Vicks Reserves. New Church lost 3-1 to Knighton. Osborne Coburg beat Seaview 4-2. And Yarmouth and Cowbourne beat Wooten 6-4. On to the league table then. Ventnor go top. Three games, three wins, nine points. Same as East Cow's Vicks Reserves. Coburg are 100% as well, two wins from two. We're down into fourth with that loss and the rest are making up ground. If you have liked the video, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Trying to get to a thousand subs before the end of the season. Hope everybody has a good week and remember, up the fucking park.